Hello everybody. What you're going to do today is you're going to learn how to, you know, you hate to use the word hack, but it's all that seems to be what people understand these days. How you're going to hack Windows XP. Where we're going to start with the setup files or the main setup. Um, initially, you know, when you start up Windows XP, you see this little window here. Welcome to da, 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 Windows XP. What do you want to do? You want to install Windows XP, learn more, perform additional tasks, or you know check the system compatibility. It's XP. Likely your system is compatible. This isn't Windows 7 where a brand new computer won't even run on it. Well, <laughs> piece of shit that Windows 7 is. Well, one of the changes I'm going to teach you as this helicopter flies over and annoys the hell out of me is how to change the text in the background. Now. Get a kick out of this. <laughs> you can change it to say anything you want. As you said, as it says, kill my ex-wife, run to a non-extradition country, use rope and chains and cement blocks to sink your body to the bottom of a lake. Work on a good alibi. Well, how are you going to do this? Well, for one, you got to get married. Two, go over to the string table. Open it, expand it. And under one uh, under 76, you go under the 133, which I have yet to clarify that with you guys. You can change it to anything you want. And you know normally it doesn't save this. Right. Now, you can go a step further and change other things that you do not understand. And I do not recommend you do it, but that's how you're going to learn. Now, also, which I'm not going to show you, I'm just going to tell you how to do, what, what you can do is you can change all of this you can change that little icon you can change this icon you can change all the colors here you can change it to anything you want and the question is is how it's rather simple and by the way you need to download the resource hacker I have below and it's not the version you get at the main site you need this one because just do it download it and this is how you're gonna be able to do what you need to do here now bitmap Click any number you want, change anything you want. It's very simple. You right click on it. If you want to edit it, hit copy. Go over here to start, paint. If you want to edit it, and of course paste, as I did in paint. You can edit it. Then you can come back here, click on that, and you can save it. You can replace it. You can rename it. You can delete it even. Same thing goes for any part of that first window. Now, mind you, this is what the set of files affect. You can also find the, um, what's the word, the properties. Let me explain, show you. The properties of all these. I don't have the set of files with the rest of the files in XP disk, so when I click on it, it's really not going to do anything except this. It's going to show a little setup window. It's going to say, at least, well, it did before, all right? So from there, it would open up another file. And what you can do is you can go inside with resource hacker right click on it open again you can continue continue editing straight through and you can pretty much change anything in XP minus what and light will do and light obviously you know you can change all your settings well once again this is telling you what you can do I'm not doing much to show you but I'm leading the way I'm not gonna go too much further in elaboration leave everything else alone you do not understand the version information is what it says it's the properties of the file Leave all this alone. Now, when you are done making a change here, I'm just going to mimic a change here. You hit compile script. That's not going to make a change yet because you need to go up here to the file, save as. Now, I highly recommend you do two things. One, make sure you put executable in the end of it. Two, do not name it the same thing as what you're editing. Otherwise, when something does go wrong, and it will you will not be able to recover it. As I said, it's simple again. If it's setup one, name it setup two. And this way you can fall back on the, the original setup. Icon group. Expanded. Again, is the simple icons. Not much to it. And of course, why some of them are blurred? Because, blurred, excuse me, or pixelated because they're 48 by 48. And it's probably, you know, an 8 by 8. Anyhow, that, I'm not going to get into why it's like that. It's kind of um, one of those things that I know. Most people know. I just have a hard time explaining it to people who do not know. Cursor. Once again, you have no need to change that. But if you want to, change it to a middle finger. Go right here. Change anything you want. Change it to a, a cow's ass for all I care. 
Well, that concludes the very simple, quick, 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 how to hack your Windows XP. And it's a little bit harder to do it Windows 7 setup. I haven't tried it on the Whistler, and I haven't tried it on... What's the other betas? I'm trying to find one. Well, I know it works on the other betas, too. And you can also do it in a Windows 98 setup. You can change basically everything in there. Alrighty, I'm done here. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and I will make other videos following this one. This is only the beginning. Alright, take care. Bye. And subscribe.